I was embarrassed by the fact that the newspapers were exploiting the Moors murders for the purposes of selling newspapers uh, when all the time there were grieving mothers who needed to know where their children were buried. Uh, no effort was actually made to try and help those mothers. Uh, so I felt that if I approached Brady carefully in the fullness of time, it might be possible to end up achieving a result. As I was told that I couldn't meet him in the visiting room because this man had to be kept apart from the rest of the prison population. So I was shown into the dentist's room and I sat in the dentist chair and he sat in the, at a desk and uh, we had a meeting. He told me about how he liked French cigarettes but had difficulty getting them which was my cue, so on the second visit, of course, I had a package of French cigarettes and I even smoked one with him, although I'm a non-smoker, just in order to establish a rapport. He was doped up much of the time, so he had difficulty talking and being articulate. So on some occasions, he wasn't very forthcoming in the information that he was able to impart just because his mind had been shut down by these pills that they were shoveling into him. Other times, he was very articulate. My job was to try and ease the information out of him by gaining his confidence, but knowing that this was going to be a challenge just because his mental state was in turmoil. He had one purpose in life, and that was to keep her in prison. That was a problem. How could he divulge that she was guilty of the crimes of killing children without talking about the crimes and admitting them himself? I feel that he could see the possibility that he could use me as a means of announcing to the world that she really was guilty. He knew what he had done was unforgivable. Uh, and uh, he, he was not going to seek um, the sympathies of people as a result of him expressing remorse. So he was very explicit that uh, it would have been dishonest of him to have uh, offered such ex public expressions of remorse. You no, know, we knew that other children had gone missing in that area, but no one had actually tied him to them. And so one of my tasks was to try and find out if he would confirm that there were other victims. I reached the conclusion that there are other victims of the Moors murderers. Brady clearly intimated to me that there were such victims. I cannot now prove it, but nonetheless, I am satisfied that we still do not know the full extent of the killings executed by his little killing cult. One of the heartening things about this whole story is uh, the way the mothers would not allow their children to be forgotten. Both Pauline Reed's mother and Winnie Johnson hung on against the odds, pushing all the time to try and get Brady and Hindley to finally disclose what happened to the children. Winnie Johnson, unfortunately, never did have the satisfaction of reburying her son, but we should remember those mothers for the remarkable people they were ordinary mothers whose children were snatched from the street, uh, but they would not forget their children.